my lovers scorpio nation and their lovers welcome to your october 2019 monthly astrological sign update as you can see i have a different setup yes it is my bed <laughs> if you've not been following i am actually traveling i'm staying at my parents house um my mom's going to um to see my sister in europe so I'm just keeping my dad company. I'm going to be here for a month. So if you've not been following, that's what's been happening with me. And um, I'm in my room because it's the most quiet. It's the uh, place that you can get the most quiet right now. My house is always a buzz with all kinds of activities. Everybody's coming in and out, chatting. We argue very loudly about politics and all of that. So um, this is my little sanctum <laughs> all right so um what we're going to do if you don't know the format of my astrological sign reads um we're going to go into this deck here and that is the archetype deck by carolyn miss we're just going to check the energy of the person that's coming through um the energy of the person that scorpio is dealing with um that's going to deliver this message we're going to go into Taravan Lux, look at how um, their feelings for you, um, their mental processing. Um, then we're going to have a look at some of the blockages um, in your connection. And then after that, we're going to go over into the extended where we look at their heart space energy. We look at what they might be hiding. We're going to get messages from their 3D self, messages from their 5D self. And then we're going to look at possible actions towards you um by the end of the month okay so let's get into this guys now remember scorpio and i tell you guys all the time when you're watching these reading especially for love you're not just going to look at your sun sign you're going to look at your moon especially because that's your emotional body your moon your rising your venus sign and then you're going to look at those placements for your person as well because especially when it comes to soul connections the energy can be flipped very common very common for the energy to be flipped so you know we have to bear that in mind all right so let's see what's who's coming in to talk to scorpio Who is coming in? All right, let's see. <clears throat> Who's coming in to stop the stop you? I'm just gonna take a few of these cards. Let's see the first one. Ooh, we have Alchemist in Reverse. I don't like energy, this energy. Anytime I see Alchemist in Reverse, I think about people doing witchcraft and all kinds of, of all kinds of shit. And I also think about manipulators. But if they think they can manipulate Scorpio, <sighs> we'll be on to them. That's the most I can say. <laughs> you don't try to manipulate Scorpio, okay? Um, it says here, misuse of the power knowledge that came or come that comes through spiritual practice and, and see that's exactly why i hate that alchemist in reverse card because this talks about someone misusing their spiritual gifts and misusing them their spiritual energy so this is people um casting spells and some of them they may not even know that they're doing these things because it's so easy to curse a person you don't have to do any sort of simi dimi as we say here in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean, there's no particular ritual if you want to kill someone. You can kill someone with your thoughts. You can kill someone with your mind. That, that that energy goes out there, right? So this person, they are misusing their spiritual power. They're not using it for the light, and that always um, gives me um, manipulator energy there. So this person might be naturally intuitive. But what they're doing, they're using their insight um, to manipulate people. Well, they're going to meet their match with Scorpio because when it comes to insight, I, told, I keep telling you guys, Scorpio was born with a PhD in psychology. 
So if they think they can manipulate Scorpio, they've got the wrong one. All right, let's see. We have Seeker and we have Seeker in reverse. So on that, another negative aspect. It says inability to commit to a path once found. So we have here a commitment phobe. Okay. Rolling Stone. Rolling Stone gathers no moss. So this person, they have issues with commitment. Um, they're not able to stay the course. Even They might even have problems holding down a job, quite frankly, because they're, they're searching for something and they don't even know what that something is. They haven't a clue. Okay, so this person is confused. I'm noticing that both these cards are brown. So this tell me the, the issue that is arising here is arising out of their root chakra, which is their foundation, how secure they feel in themselves, right? So this person has insecurity issues and that's why they operate like that. That's why they manipulate people and that's why they're commitment phobe. They don't think they're good enough. All right, let's see. pull this out as well we have a detective oh my word so this is a spy and look they're pretending they're not spying on you but they are <laughs> oh my word and i'm really looking i'm really drawn to all the purple in this card so they might even be using their spiritual gifts to spy and it says great powers of observation and intuition and i knew it a spiritual gift i knew it desire to seek out the truth so again i'm getting this person they're very intuitive great powers of observation they like to spy they like to they notice things they pick up on patterns right but from this car we see these two cars that they're not using this for the light it says here gossip and it's the upright awakens consideration for the feelings of others honoring trust so people may find this person um, trustworthy and this person also has the gift of awakening compassion so they're not all that bad just like just like everybody else everybody has their light and their dark but I particularly cannot stand alchemist in reverse I, I don't I can't I can't anybody trying to manipulate someone's free wills free, <laughs> free will is an issue for me we have here an exorcist freeing yourself and others from destructive impulses so this person they're able you see they're using their powers of observation to detect patterns especially destructive patterns and they're able now to help others free themselves from those destructive patterns but i'm also getting that they are also freeing themselves from destructive and codependent patterns in their life they're using those spiritual gifts for good we have here beggar in reverse beggar in reverse it says dependence on others to the exclusion of effort so this is someone here is codependent they're codependent and it's all about their foundation they don't think that they can make it on their own they don't have confidence in themselves so they rely on others for their self-worth for their validation and then we have pioneer a light attribute though passion for doing and creating what has not yet been done before and i'm really linking that to the exorcist card so this person is charting a new course for their life but i'm also getting they're charting a new course for their family and they did their, 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 their ancestral line as well whatever they are doing here it's also impacting the people around them they're like they're charting a new way forward um for for their soul their soul tribe uh for their soul tribe all right so that's the energy this person is coming in with all right so let's look now at this person's headspace what's the headspace energy where you are concerned scorpio where's the head at well right. 
All right, the energy of this reading is the Knight of Wands. So this is Sagittarian energy, and this is like the player of the Zodiac. So you might have been dealing, or you are dealing with um, a player, someone who's inconsistent in and out of your life. And you know, it's like they're always waiting on their ships to come in, but it never comes in. So there's definitely, I think, there's a third party in here as well with the Three of Wands. They don't feel like they have anything solid to offer. They don't have any confidence in what they have to in what they have to offer, and that's what's creating a lot of inner conflict. You know, that's what's making them feel so defensive. They have all this love to give inside. They want to give you this love, but they don't think they're good enough. They want to. They want to bring some kind of truth, but they don't think they're good enough. And, and, and I think this is the energy of the read. We saw it here in these cards, and we're seeing it again now. All right, so let's see. When this person thinks about you, just get comfort. And this connection, what's the headspace like? All right, so we have the moon. The moon is Pisces and Cancerian energy. The, rune, the moon talks about secrets, intuition, illusion. Let me see what. Let me see what the complete message here. I'm getting Queen of Cups here, Cancerian energy. So this person has a lot of love in their heart for you. And they're thinking about offering you their cup of love. They have a lot of love. Let me get a few more cards and then I'll relay the message. We have here Seven of Cups, so that's about illusion, confusion. It might also be about multiple options. And then we have here the Three of Cups in reverse. So for the first row of the mental energy, this person, they're a bit confused. That's what I'm getting. They are a bit confused, but they are trying to follow their intuition to really figure out what is the path forward. And they really want to be loyal to the, look at these loyal dogs here, right? And they're trying to follow their intuition. This crab, he's come out of the depths of um, his emotions and he's trying to follow his intuition here. And his intuition is telling him, hey, offer your love to this person. They are worthy. Offer your love to this person. Offer this person your cup of love. They are worthy. But this person, a bit confused. There's a bit of illusion around him. There might be other people around him. But this person's not interested in that this person's interested in only you they have a lot of sadness there's no joy where they are right now because i think that you guys may not be in contact this person may be with someone else because we have here the energy of the third party but they're thinking about getting rid of this third party so that they can follow their heart and follow their intuition they want to follow their heart and follow their intuition Okay, so there's a lot of water here in their, their headspace, a lot of water, a lot of emotions in the headspace. How weird, right? Let me get another rose. So what else are they thinking about? Bam, that's the sun. So that's total optimism that is stepping into masculine energy, taking charge of a situation. That's Leo there. Let's get three more cards. We have the Eight of Cups, the card of walking away from things that no longer serve us. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. And, you know, Ace of Cups upright talks about being self-confident. It talks about a new beginning in love. But reverse, this is a card of codependency. And then we have the Knight of Swords. This is a Gemini. This is a guy that rushes in and speaks his truth. He doesn't give a fuck about how anybody else takes it. He's giving it to you straight. All right, so what, this, what this is this telling me? This is telling me that this person, they want to take control of the situation. This is what they're thinking about. Stepping into their masculine energy. What is a man or woman? Stepping into their masculine energy, believing in what their intuition is telling them, trusting spirit, being optimistic, and taking charge of the situation and walking away.
from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. Now, because it had a lot of water energy here, I'm thinking maybe one of the things they're walking away from, maybe um, substance abuse. Um, I'm getting that very strongly, right? But this person, as much as they want to do this, as much as they want to be assertive, this person has issues with their self-esteem. They have self-esteem issues. They are codependent. So I'm getting they might be in another relationship that's incredibly toxic. But they're not their own person. Okay? They have a problem relying on self. But there is some kind of truth that they want to rush in and come and tell you. Let me pull some cards and see what that through what that truth is. Spirit, what is the truth? Okay, what's this? Okay, they want to tell you that they are seeing things clearly now. The seven of cups that is upright is now in reverse. They have made a decision. They know that you are the one. Guys, you will not believe what I just saw. I just saw a crab in my bedroom. And the first card that came out was a crab. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a cancer. I'm going to cut this reading in a moment to deal with that crab. <laughs> Okay, because I was hearing it scur. I was hearing something scurrying. I was like, "What the hell is that?" Now I know it's a crab. Okay. Yeah, so they've gotten rid of all third parties. What else do they want to tell you? They've gotten rid of all the illusion, and they want to tell you all the secrets that they have hidden from you up to this moment. We have High Priestess in reverse. Okay. So. Based on these energies here, what are some of the blockages in this connection? Let's get another one. All right, let's see what we got. And what are some of the blockages? One, there might be another soul contract or another union in place okay and that's blocking this connection cancer pisces scorpio energy two there might be some kind of stalemate here this person does not they want to move forward but they don't know how to move forward because if you notice here these here these are statues they don't move so they're obstacles that this person has to transcend in order to come towards you maybe this is for both of you guys okay this is for both of you guys. Maybe either of you have some kind of karmic connection going on. And either of you have obstacles that need to be surmounted. Three, what's blocking this connection? Inner wounding and a need for healing. People have been operating out of their pain and baggage and their wounds from the past. And this has been blocking the connection. What's blocking this connection? A karmic cycle. Someone is caught in a karmic cycle. So there's definitely the energy of a third party here. Okay. Let me just get a couple cards, more cards for blockages. I'm being guided to take two more. Okay. Yeah. So for blockages, we have here three of pentacles so again the third party is here there's some foundation that was built and it's definitely definitely at play here with someone else the other thing that's blocking this connection this person is indecisive they want to offer love then they don't want to offer love this is the knight of cups in reverse i'm also getting that's what's blocking this connection is that both of you guys and speaking your truth or expressing um, yourself and your love and your emotions okay and that is blocking um, this connection all right so I'm gonna take the city extended um, I'm gonna take it to the extended and we're gonna have a look at the third-party connection there I'm going to have a look at what they might be hiding how are they feeling about you in the heart space um, 3D messages, 5D messages, and then actions towards you. 
by the end of the month okay all right guys take care bye and this will be on vimeo for two dollars and 22 cents for the extended or you can join my patreon and that's five dollars and 55 cents for the month okay bye